can go ahead and get a first look at your forecast. I shouldn't say first look at your forecast. <laughs> second look at your forecast second this look. morning <laughs> at 6.15. Meteorologist Amanda Pappas says the sun's about to start coming up. Oh, it's coming up. Look at this. I feel like, oh my goodness, it is just going to be a beautiful day out there. We're speaking it into existence, manifesting it over here. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday and get yourself those deals. So although it looks beautiful outside right now, it is going to be so hot, sticky, and just uncomfortable. It's like a jacket of humidity. Nasty outside. So even though it's beautiful, here's the deal. We see our temperatures are running way warmer than they should already out the door. Beautiful shot of our St. Pete that was highlighted in that previous story from the Mahaffey Theater Sky Camera. 79 for the current air temperature. Dew point at 76. So that's what's going to make it feel so humid outside. So a great excuse for you to find those deals on Amazon and stay in the AC while you do it. So current visibility, because of how close that air temperature and dew point are, that could lead to some areas of patchy fog. Visibility is really not being impacted right now. It should be a nice and easy drive weather-wise into work. Radar showing us more of the same calm, quiet conditions. We don't see any rain out there to worry about. Now we see temperature-wise, we're sitting at 78 for West Chase, 76 for Riverview. Wider lookout, still some more 70s, 72 for Crystal River, a whopping 10 degrees warmer over towards St. Pete at 82. It is just very warm out there. Afternoon high temperatures as we make our way to about 4 o'clock. We're going to get into the 90s and also 80s. 94 for Plant City, 92 for Bartow, and 90 for Bradenton. You get the point here, guys. It is one of those dog days of summer. It's hot, hazy, and humid. Thank you. Goodness, though, we do see, even though this heat index gets to 102, we do have some chances for rain back in the forecast today. So Mother Nature trying to help to keep us cool. So feels like temperatures in the triple digits when you factor in the humidity with that heat. Now we see we have showers that are popping up right around, I would say, 11, 12 o'clock, and they're going to be over towards the coast mainly. Then as we continue throughout the afternoon, we get more energy and soup up that atmosphere. Those showers turn into storms, and guess what? The storms will continue to push the so eastward and away from the coast. So the coast gets the activity, the shower activity first. Then we see the storms will be popping up over our inland zones. We fizzle any storm of rain chances out all throughout the overnight hours, and we wake up Wednesday nice and dry. However, we'll see some more storms popping back in. Afternoon thunderstorms are way back into play all throughout this week. The seven-day forecast showing us best chance for rain today from 3 to 5, best chance for storms specifically 3 to 5, best chance for rain 11 to 5. Then we see our rain chances taper off a little bit tomorrow, but right back up into the rest of this week. Sarah?